Hello friends, here the PLTC controller consists of frequency single phase frequency generator PWM and here what are the advantages here we can vary the frequency and also vary the duty cycles here the output of the single phase frequency meter is given to the three phase converter here the single phase signal is converted by using 4017 IC and uh, and it's given to the transistor 547 which is used for try the MOSFET circuit here the three LEDs are used to monitor the three phase signal and the three phase signal is given to the MOSFET fridge half MOSFET fridge here the three LEDs are used for monitor the output of the MOSFET drive here this is the PLDC motor 12 pole PLDC motor and here this is the power supply unit ok here look at the drawing <coughs> Here, this is the circuit diagram. Here, the single phase signal generator. The output of the signal generator is given to the 14th pin of the 4017IC and it is converted to the 3 phase signal. The 3 phase signal is given to the transistor 547, it is used for try the MOSFET. And here this is the MOSFET half free MOSFET drive. Three MOSFETs are used. Here IR of 44N MOSFETs use and the output of the MOSFET fridge is given to the motor. Okay. Here the single phase generator, three phase signal generator, and here half fridge MOSFET bridge, and here this is the three phase motor. These are the various stage of the three phase PLDC controller. Now I am going to test the PLDC controller. Okay. Here the cycle is 50 Hz. I am going to increase the hundred Hz. to increase further one fifty hertz. I'm going to increase for that.
200 hertz Fifty hertz, three hundred hertz. Here the frequency is three fifty hertz. Now I'm going to increase further. Four hundred hertz. Four fifty hertz now. Okay. Okay. Now I am going to reduce the speed. Now the motor is running with the 200 hertz. Okay.